Hello friends, today we'll be talking about financial tags, uh, which is a new feature that was added in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance in version 10.0.32. We'll quickly see some of its use cases. We'll see what are the main differences between financial tags and dimensions. And then we'll jump into the system and see how we configure financial tags, how we enter financial tags in transactions, and how we edit tags after posting and see related audit trail. Okay, so practically I see many applications of financial tax, some of that I've mentioned here. For example, an auditor is reviewing posted transactions of a ledger and would like to flag certain transactions that he wants to discuss with finance manager later. He can use financial tax to simply flag specific transactions and then use voucher transactions inquiry to filter all these flag transactions to discuss with finance manager. Another application could be an accountant who wants to capture the diesel expenses of their fleet of vehicle and would like to capture the car license plate number in the journal line. He can now capture this information in financial tags. A finance manager wants to capture an expense report in general ledger, not specifically using expense management and want to capture employee reference in general ledger in line. And we can easily handle this by creating worker as a financial tag and select that worker as a tag value in journal line. There is no need to create employee as a financial dimension. So overall, uh, in a nutshell, we can see financial tags are attributes or additional information that is captured in a journal line, which is used to classify general ledger financial transactions. And it provides the functionality to add nodes or group or classify transactions in a structured or unstructured manner. And then obviously we can filter or report on financial tags in the voucher transactions query form. Let's jump to the next slide where we see the main differences between financial dimensions and tags. Let's first see. So the first thing that I would like to highlight here is that financial tags uh, are not available in financial report or financial dimensions are. Uh, financial dimensions, as you know, are more controlled structured set of attributes and that is enforced in transactions prior to posting via account structure. Whereas tags, tags don't follow any such structure or rule. You can simply activate a tag and then start selecting it in a journal line and it does not flow from a master to the transaction. And then tag can be enabled or disabled at any point of time, even when transactions have been posted and tags are legal entity specific. As far as I know, I think 20 tags can be activated in a legal entity. And most importantly, tags can be edited in a, in a transaction after posting, providing immense flexibility to finance users. Okay, let's jump into the system and see how we use this. So first thing, we need to activate this in feature management. So if you go to feature management and you search financial tags, you will see this option here. So what you need to do, you need to activate this feature. Once you activate this feature, then in general ledger module, you will see a new form added, which is financial tag, which is inside a new section financial tags. So when you click on this, ideally this form will be uh, blank at that space, but I'm already using this. You can see the existing tags here. So tags are of primarily three types, list, text and custom list. So what is a list? So if you create a tag of type list, then you can reference it to an existing master. Like you can see, I've created a financial tag like worker, and then I can now reference it to the worker master. Similarly, you can create other tags like vendor names or bank accounts or post registers or expense purposes. Second is text. So text, if you create a financial tag of type text, then that basically allows user to enter any, any random text in a journal line as a tag. Then you have expense class, which is a custom list. Here you can, you, you can create this type of tag and then assign your own values in the tag. You can see that here. So expense class, you can, you can see petrol expenses or per diem or hotel, et cetera. You can create values like this. Okay, and uh, for example, if I create a new expense class, 
sorry, financial tag called reason code. And then I say, this is a custom list. Then I can go here and then I can put values here, like reason code, like reversal. And then erroneous entry, something like that I can, and adjustment. I can create tag values in this fashion. So once you have created a new tag, you need to activate this. So to activate this, you need to click on this activate button. And then whatever tags are presently inactive, it's shown on the left side. So you, you just select the tag that you want to activate and then move it to the right side. And then click on this button, activate or deactivate tags. So once you click on this button, so this is gets added to the queue. And right away, you can see this tag is now active. To see how we use this, you need to go to general journal. So financial tags are available in multiple journals like general journal, global journal, uh, vendor payment journal, customer payment journal. Uh, you can see that I create a journal here. Then I go to lines. And suppose I select an expense account and select applicable financial dimensions. And now I go to tag. Then I can select that this expense is has been entered is basically applicable to a particular employee. Okay. And then fuel expense. Okay, so once you do that, you can see the tag is populated here. Fuel expenses for the month. And then suppose $500. Just select some applicable offset account. Okay. So you can see offset site also has its own financial tags. So once you are done with your journal line, you can go ahead and post it. So once you post this, you can see that here, that the tag that you added is visible in the voucher transactions table. You can see this financial tag section. And then you can also see the tag is added as a column here. So I added a new tag reason code and you can see that here comment is added as a column so you can easily filter your voucher transactions based upon this now let's quickly see how we edit this okay so suppose uh, during review of the voucher i find that i entered the wrong employee reference here so i can easily review this uh, so you can select this the voucher lines click on edit voucher and then go to edit internal voucher data okay so you can here, you can select a new tag value. So suppose this is for employee number four. Okay. So you can use this button to bulk update this to all the lines. Okay. So I have updated this. So the previous value was 03 and the new value is 04. Okay, click on OK button. Once you click on OK button, you can see that now the tag is updated with employee reference 4. Okay. And if you want to see the audit trail for this, you can easily view this in audit trail of financial voucher edits. So this, this is the audit trail for that. If you click on this, you can see what was the previous value and what is the new value, which is giving you the full information. Okay. So that's about it. Thank you.